Hello, this is a dude named Kemp, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add water to a map in Hammer Editor. As you can see, I made a little pool in the map that, um, that I'm going to add water into. First, you have to select the water texture. Dev Water 5 works fine for me. Then you create a, um, a block of it inside the pool itself. In the video, I'm going to make one that's a bit smaller than the actual pool and a bit above it, just, um, just so you can, just for clarity later in the video. Then open up the um, the texture control and uh, and change all the si all the um, sides of the block except the top to the no draw texture. Um, by the way, you can hold control to select multiple sides of um of a block like this without deselecting the previous one just so you know you don't have to go through every single one and change them all to the no draw texture alright now you just have to make the uh, the block of water fit the pool and I decided to make it actually a bit shorter than the uh, than the pool itself you know so it looks more realistic like water in an actual pool not to the absolute brim Right, now I'll just make a ramp so that I can that I can use later to enter and exit the pool. This isn't important really right now for this tutorial, but it'll be important later on in the video when I show myself actually playing in the map itself. And of course it doesn't need to be that long, so I shortened it a bit. I right, finally you have to uh, convert it to a BSP file, which is the type of file that the Source Engine games actually read and use. You go to File, Run As, and then you can leave most of the settings as the same, but you can also add the little line of text at the bottom. You can also turn on HDR or turn off HDR, but for a simple map like this, it really doesn't matter. All the information that I use to create this tutorial can be found at Valve Developer Community, and um, I'll post a link to this specific tutorial in the description.